Hello and welcome to this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through some basic tools used in Adobe Animate. So I'm going to begin by creating my artboard. I'm going to go with the 1280 by 720 with a frame rate of 30. So I'll click on create. So the first thing we need to do is to resize our artboard. Let's resize it to fit to window. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is the selection tool. The selection tool over here, shortcut is V, is used for selecting graphics and moving shapes around. So let's, let's draw a rectangle. I'm picking it from the rectangle tool here. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle like this. And go back to the selection tool or press V and select the whole shape. In so doing, you can move it around. And if your shape has a stroke or an outline, when you click once, you select only the fill area. Or when you double click and move around, it means you select both the outline and then the fill area. Another thing is when you bring your cursor close to the corner of your shape, you realize that it has this upright angle showing, meaning that you can edit the corner. Same thing applies to any edge. You see an arc, meaning you can make changes to the edge as well. Another thing you can do with the selection tool is to hold alt select everything hold alt and create a duplicate now let's take a look at a sub selection tool which is beneath the selection tool and the shortcut is a with the sub selection tool all you can do is make changes to the corners of your shape just as the selection tool can do as well Okay, so before we go to our next tool, I'm going to delete what we've done so far. So I'm going to select the layer, layer one here, and click on the dustbin once here to delete the entire shape. This time around, I'm going to select the over tool, and I'm going to go into properties here. You see properties here, and make sure my stroke is disabled, and I can change my color that I prefer to here. So I'm going to select blue and I'm going to hold down shift and then draw an over. Next, I'm going to pick the tool beneath the selection tool. It's the free transform tool and I'm going to click on my shape once. And then we have this selection formed around a circle with handles all over. Now I can resize just by clicking and dragging. And when I bring my cursor to any of the corners, I see this rotation with which I can rotate my, but since it's a circle, we can't actually see the rotation as it's supposed to be. So another thing you should take note of is this uh, anchor point over here, this white little dot. When I click and move it around, say this point, and I try to resize my circle from the top. It resizes exactly from the top, maintaining the bottom part. So that's my anchor point. Same thing applies to when I try to rotate. It rotates around that anchor point. So that's one thing with the free transform tool and it aids in a lot of animation instances. So when I change the position, let me change it to this portion, and I try to rotate, you see it rotates around that anchor point. So that's it with the free transform tool. So the next tool we are going to look at is the lasso tool. So before then, before that, let me once again delete what we have and draw a rectangle. So I'm going to pick my lasso tool, which is beneath the transform tool, lasso, and click and just draw a freehand selection 
around my shape. So what it does is it selects the entire shape for you. Aside selecting the entire shape, you can use it in dividing your shape into irregular parts. So if I create something like this, if I do such a selection and I pick my selection tool, you realize that I've divided my shape. I can do the same, divide it into multiple parts, as many parts as you want, just using the lasso tool. Now let's go back to a rectangle, um, pressing Ctrl Z repeatedly, and click for a sub selection there, the polygon tool. What it does is, it also does the selection, but in straight edges. So in this case, you don't get to do the curvy selections that you do in the free hand form. So with the polygon lasso tool, you get to do your divisions in straight edges. Aside the lasso tools, which can be used in dividing shapes, the selection tool can also help us in doing divisions. Let me create this rectangle quickly. Pick our selection tool, the normal selection tool, and just create this selection. So what it does is it has divided it. And I do another one. It's also and so on and so forth. So with the selection tool, you are limited to rectangular divisions. Now, let me delete this and then let's move on to our next tool, which is the pen tool. So this is the pen tool. So with the pen tool, you can draw custom shapes. And these custom shapes come with editable points. And so the editable points can be edited using this sub selection tool, which we learned earlier. So when I select it and I click on the shape, so these points, when I click and drag them, they have some handles here with which I can change the curvature of the point with the of the point. And I can change the position of the editable points as well. So rotating the handles also changes the shape. So aside the pen tool, we have the pencil tool as well, which is normally located under the brush. And so with the pencil tool, what it does it is tries to draw straight lines for you, clean and consistent lines. So let me start all over. Let me just delete this. And when you try to draw a curve, something like this, it tries to, the AI in the animate tries to give you a clean and consistent straight line. Now we can change the way the line looks in the properties channel to our right. We have a style here, which if we drop down, we can change it to uh, dashes. And if the dashes are not visible enough, we have another three dots here, which we can edit how the dashes should look like. We can increase the spacing. It gives us a preview and then change the size of the dashes as well. So when you click OK and I draw again, we have dashed straight lines. So that's what a pencil does. You draw a line and it tries to give you a clean and consistent line. So when I draw a curve, this is what happens.
So that is how the pencil tool works. Okay, so the last tool we are going to look at is the hand tool. So let me delete everything once again and pick our hand tool down here. So the hand tool, what it basically does is when I resize, let me resize my artboard to something smaller, say 50. When I resize it, I can use the hand tool short form spacebar or H to move my artboard around. A sub selection under the hand tool has a rotation tool with a shift and H. What it does is it and it rotates the entire artboard. And another sub selection is the time scrub tool. So let's say I have an animation. Let me quickly um, create an animation here. So I have this. Select everything. Convert it to a symbol. And create a motion tween. And then let me just move it from here to here. So I have this short animation. So the time scrap, we use a, a, a sub selection here. What it does is it helps you in just scrubbing along the timeline of your animation. So if you have a very long timeline, this tool helps you in scrubbing along or moving your playhead along the timeline. So that does it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be handling the other tools in the next part of this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you in the next video.